Yo, welcome back guys. So now we are going to be buying Itadori and purchase that right there. Um, hopefully we could actually purchase Itadori. And there we go. Um, we purchased Itadori. So there goes Itadori now. And we just lost like 200 Robux from that. I mean 800 Robux because Itadori I think is 800 Robux. So, right now, let's go to the trainer because it's going to be in City 2 and we're going to be showcasing um, Itadori. Right now, there's the most common way of getting Itadori right now that you guys will probably see because there will be players that will have Itadori already. They probably purchased it similar to I did because I think this one is the style that is going to be boss rush related. It's most definitely boss rush related. So, yeah, I'm going to be going to the trainer. So, for now, um, yeah, I'm going to be pausing the recording and be back when you have the style. already have like a relic there i just saw a relic all right so yeah i'm gonna be back once we have the stuff so here we are guys we're going to be equipping itadori right now so yeah get itadori so there we go just gonna it's time to flex that on the project bucket of discord yes yeah, so we have itadori now and yeah itadori here we go so now it's time for the showcase so i think itadori is you know um 800 800 800 and 700 on intellect so you have 800 in all except for intellect so 800 all except for intellect 800 on all stats except for intellect so yeah 800 on all stats except for intellect all right so let's uh reset our stats so we have reset our stats now so it's time to put 800 on all except for intellect 700 for intellect if i remember correctly 700 on intellect right 800 800 800 800 800 7 and now we have to increase our stats i'm gonna put 500 on strength and around 396 on the durability and there we go so video and let's stop to put our stats diversion fist malevolent shrine sukuna black flash and magic kick so we're gonna go test it out on some of the npcs over here that's where we're gonna test them out on first move is divergent fist still gonna reverse curse technique so we're gonna we have to get one we have to only get one come on here and zay so this one basically activates fists like this and it, it increases i think your damage also oh it also um damages them and it has cool effects. Pretty cool. Pretty cool effects, honestly. Those effects are very awesome. So it damages them every time you hit them. And I think extra damage. And apart from extra damage, I think um, the effects are really cool. Now the next move is Malevolent Shrine. So press X. Oh, sorry. You can only be use Okay, so you can only use Malevolent Shrine while you're possessed by Sukuna. So let's use the other move, which is Black Flash. Or a Manchu Kick. So the one that I used right there was Manji Kick, the last move of Flame Arrow. Now it's time to use um Black Flash. So come on here, please. I need only one of you. So yeah, let's let him hit us. And then come over here and then press B for um Black Flash. There you go. That was pretty awesome. And let's use um J again. Very cool, right? And let's use B. And B is a almost a stun, or I mean a ragdoll, so it's pretty cool. Now we're gonna get ourselves lowered because we want to be able to use um Sukuna. Black Flash does a lot of damage, or a decent a lot of damage, decent amount of damage. Now we can use Sukuna if we press C. God, right, come on, stop! If you press C right here, you can be possessed by Sukuna. There we go. Sukuna. So you can use Malevolent Shrine here. Let's see what happens if we use the first move while we are possessed by Sukuna. So we take a little bit. I don't know if we take less damage. So right here is Malevolent Shrine. So you can put them in the same area as you like Gojo. If you guys remember Gojo, you remember Gojo, the Gojo's infinity move. So it looks like you can put them in the same place. And they basically just run from you. They're running away from me. 
And yeah, basically, it puts them in that. Now, if you use Zay again... Oh no, um, Sukuna's mode doesn't last that long. But it's so far, so far, it's decent. It's, I would, I, that's what I have to say about it. It's decent. So, now it's time to use uh, Sukuna again. Alright, so, um... You actually have cleave, so some moves also change. When you're possessed by Sukuna, some moves change, which is why I wanted to test it out, but unfortunately, we got our asses kicked. So, yeah. So, let's keep on going. Um, Alright, so we have to get ourselves lowered again. Why did they use heart pump? Alright, come here. Lower me. So I think when you use Zay, you, you use Cleave if you're Sukuna. Sukuna's mode lasts around 40 seconds or less. So, oh god. So far, it's not looking that good, honestly. But maybe it will be better. Because right now, um, I'm not seeing that much good stuff from it. Come on, damage me, please. It did take quite a long time to damage me. Alright, so... Alright, so that's pretty good. Now, if we go press A or C... Oh, no, we still don't have it. Come on. Come on, come on. Hit me, guys. Hit me. Hit me, guys. Alright, alright, alright. So, we have to use C. Now, we bring out Sukuna again. And then, Sukuna mode, by the way, has 70 seconds cooldown. Press C. So, Z is a heal. Z is a heal if you're Sukuna. And how about V? What does V do if you're Sukuna? So, B is cleave. If you're Sukuna, B is cleave. And what does B do if you're Sukuna? So, for B, um, you use a flame arrow, I think. Yeah, flame arrow if you're Sukuna. So, if you're Sukuna, you use flame arrow. Let's use Z again. And if you're Sukuna... J is um heal. There you go. I think that's gonna be it, guys, for the showcase. Also, you die after Sukuna. So you die after Sukuna's mode. So it appears that you die after Sukuna's mode. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it, guys, for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, peace out. That was a very good um showcase. I think um Itadori or Sukuna's mo Sukuna is not that good, honestly. That's something that I have to say about it. it I think it's a 10% chance in boss rush, and I don't think Sukuna or Itadori is that good. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace out. See you guys in the next video.